Mm. Mm. Damn, as Sarah, your lips taste good. <laughs> All right, I think we're Feel in it. disoriented. <laughs> we're fine. This isn't how I do things with Sarah. Yeah, it is. I'm Sarah. Oh yeah, you guys. Sarah's very sick. Mm. This is okay. This is episode twenty. Um, what Sarah likes to do is she likes to say, "Hey, what are you doing, moving the lemons?" I'm just moving so I can get my headset right. What's happening? Nothing. We're good. Okay, so this is episode twenty. Yeah, it is. Sarah's very sick. Mm-hmm. That's why we're a day late, and we have uh, Sarah Fillin. Sarah Filler. Sarah Filler. This Sarah week. Filler. Um. So what Sarah likes to do is like, it's like, oh, what do you do at age twenty? You know, like we're this is episode twenty. Like, I know, obviously, next oh, episode it, we'll be like, it. we can drink, but got like, it. what do you get to do at twenty? Is uh, we could maybe you have more confidence, like stealing beer with your friends or something. You don't steal beer at 20. Yeah, you do. People steal beer at 14. Okay. Depending fair, what country fair. you're from. Alex? Yeah, absolutely. I was just going to I was going to reaffirm that. I, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah Dang, plenty yeah. of people steal beer. We did we didn't grow up like that. We had much different Yeah. households. I've never like played footsie with Sarah before. This is well, We're not really playing footsie. You're just like stepping on my foot. <laughs> Footsie is. Is it? No, footsie would be like back and forth. I'm calling HR. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. See, that's going to change the vibe of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not allowed? No, it's kind of a weird thing to do. Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's um, not weird. But okay, yeah. so age 20, you steal beer. Uh, maybe you get your first job if you are a late bloomer. In yeah. Working. Yeah, that's definitely late bloomer. First job at 20. Um and that's exciting mm. i wish sarah was here to say we should have stole like a thing of like mad dog forty forty. uh it's like a wine cooler oh well, not really a wine cooler but you didn't drink mad dog uh, mad dog i think is like more of a southern thing Woohoo! episode 20 yeah. yeah i felt like we didn't really cover that very well so yeah <laughs> <I> just <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd revisit. You guys should um, drink. You guys should drink next week. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, we will have a little sip of champagne of mm-hmm. some sort. Oh, twenty, twenty-one. Okay. Um, <laughs> She's in focus. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I can just tell Alina's like on edge. Just yeah, like, yeah. Oh one yeah, one. no, yeah. I mean, and for all the listeners at home, don't worry. I I feel her 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 like rigidness. We didn't prep as as we usually do. Nah, Lena no, likes a lot of prep. I have a prep. blank piece of paper over there. The Sharpie is next to it. Nothing is taped up. Is the oh. camera even okay? It's like, it's, it's basically falling down. Don't worry. Anything's an upgrade from that last frame you put on. <laughs> I, I actually saw a clip of that the other day and I was like, holy, it was really off. Yeah. But we kind, we kind of went for that. We were like... Yeah, you're being artistic. To know. Well, that, and we also want everyone to know Alex is missing, and when we're here solo. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't want to flex too much when he was gone. Yeah, you wanted to make him feel like he was still necessary. Yes. So, yeah. like, if anything, like, we kind of just went like, eh, and then we sat back down. So I mean, we moved the camera so that it looked jank. The on. main issue you're gonna have in this episode is why is Sarah so yoked? I know. Why is she so shredded? So shredded. So shredded. I'm also uncomfortable that you're holding the mic with the stand on the bottom. I think it's a little odd. Um, it's fine. Okay. I would like to discuss something. What's that? I would like to discuss. You don't have to hold it because I did. That's just what I do. <laughs> okay. Come okay. On. You've never done that before. <laughs> ever. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to discuss uh, drinking a gallon of water a day. Okay. Oh yeah, this this shit is hard. Okay, first of all, let's backtrack. So, wait, first of all, you can't even drink this thing normally. You have to get it on the right that's angle. That's why yeah. I, I had to I had to kind of like suck it down the other day. You posted me on your story. <laughs> yeah, you were <laughs> you were servicing that thing. That's how you had to do it. <laughs> I got so many <laughs> comments. <laughs> okay, can you I know everyone complains about your coughing and all of a sudden it's starting up again. <clears throat> From all you that guys, marijuana I smoke, because no, well, I'm a no, cool guy. you don't smoke at all. Yeah, I do. 
He doesn't. It's funny because okay, now I want to address something else. Uh-oh. Because people say in your videos all the time, like, dude, Noel's so big, like he's so yeah. high. Like yeah. Noel like never smokes. Uh recently. You've never smoked before a video. Oh, not before a video. That's yeah, a, yeah. No. I'm trying to say. Oh, sorry. No, you just gotta clarify. Okay, so uh, you know, after recent experiences, I'm very keen on clarifying. Yes. <laughs> very keen on, uh, on specificity. It's important. Um, but yes, like you will like maybe one night a month when you're like about to watch an insane movie, yeah. then maybe you will. Yeah. But like people assume that you just go about your life, like yeah. in your photos that you post, when you make your videos, that you're, you're faded. I've got that my whole life though. Yeah. yeah I think may- you just look cool. Damn. Like only only you think that, but thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Like you're just so chill, that like you and like people said about me too, but mostly you. Like when yeah. I would join streams and stuff, they'd think that I was like really high. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. People people would say that. They'd say, "Oh, Alina's definitely faded." Yeah. Man. Sometimes you're just not high strung, you know. Yeah. But I am high strung right now. You are so. You just gotta relax. You're fine, dude. Okay. Trust that me. That was the one thing I wanted to. I like to also go in order. Okay. I know you. <laughs> you don't have to explain to me go, that, that you like to go in order and you have a system. For things. <laughs> I know this very well. I know that. Do you want a hit of what Noel and I were smoking before? Uh, so can- Alex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just clarified. I spent 10 minutes clarifying and you guys... Okay. What? It's a joke. It's- Having long hair is annoying, man. I know. Anyway. You should grow it out though. I think it's a good look. I I, th- I was talking to you about that. I was thinking, could I could I look good with grown out hair? Yeah, you'd look good with any kind of hair. Damn, this whole people are gonna be like, Alina, calm down. <laughs> okay, so I have stopped rubbing his foot. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, drinking a gallon a day. Oh, let me go back. Drinking a gallon a day. Okay, yeah. so how this started was, um, I have bought you know maybe like ten good water bottles in the last year water bottles water bottles okay wait can you grab some advil while she are you fucking kidding i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm in a lot of pain well from what uh sleeping weird my neck hurts what i'm in the middle of a story i'm so sorry continue please continue and all i hear is alex yeah yeah liquid gel liquid gel you know please continue please continue okay so this started that i want to talk about i need to get moving okay Alina, come on, get it together. <laughs> Dude, you're fine. Okay, so that's three pills. I think two is Dude, enough. Dude, you are letting the stress of other things completely creep in right now, and you're good. You're I good. Know. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying it out loud so you can say it to yourself. I know. So then I'm good. You're solid. So thanks, Dad. I don't worry. I have a jug of water over <laughs> here. But thank yeah. you. That's actually what I'm trying to discuss. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn shade, shade. <laughs> Shade, that was nice. That was good. That was okay. great. You are so ready. I, man, I can tell you are so ready for like, never mind. Go ahead. Okay. So, no pressure. I got like 10 water bottles, you know, and I, I really pride myself in the water bottles because I wanted to drink three liters a day and I wanted to stick to that. I know where this is going. Noel decided yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that. He would take all of our water bottles to a place where they die. Mm-hmm. And that is our car. Yep. He leaves them in there. He yep. takes them on his trip. And then they never see the light of day again. I'm talking four months. Yep. And we look at them every time we get in that car. Mm-hmm. And he sees them, but he doesn't pick them up. Yep. And then I, I'm like, I got to put my foot down. And I'm not going to pick it up because I wasn't the one that put it in there. Okay? So, I had one that I really liked. and What was the brand? It was a hydro flask. Yep. Okay. And I'd fill it up and Noel would just walk over, pick it up and start drinking it. And <laughs> I'm like, Hey, you can't do that because I need to track. I need to have three of those in a day. And if you're coming over, sip, sipping it all day, I'm not going to know if I hit my three liters because I'm going to pick it up. It's going to be half empty. I'm going to feel good about myself, but I didn't drink any of it. There's no way for me to track. I need my own sippy cup. I thought we were, I thought we were just cohabitating, you know, I thought it was cool. And then you would make me feel bad. You'd be like, oh, it's my water. Like, I just want, I'm thirsty. I need water. I'm thirsty. I just need water. <laughs> and thirsty. I'd be like, mm, but I can't track my water. I'm thirsty. So I bought 
a gallon water bottle because I'm trying to drink a gallon yeah. to just help me overall with my health. And you know what? I bought a second nope, one. Nope, that's what I'm getting to. <laughs> so Go ahead. the Amazon account is tied to Noel. Mm-hmm. I can't, for some reason, I can't order. So oh, no, 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 no. Let's let's be let's be very clear there. Yeah. It's not tied to me. What happens is. After like 90 or like 120 days, the cookie on your browser dies. Oh, yeah, cookies. So you cookies. just need to log back in. Yeah, and I'm too lazy you, to do that. But you've been very busy, and I've not pressed you on it, so I've been doing the orders for you. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right. But there's some accounts I have control over. There's, yeah, there's plenty of accounts you have yeah. control over. Okay, <laughs> didn't need to clarify that, but here we are. So I... <laughs> I sent him the link. I said, can you please order me this gallon water bottle? You're just making bottle. it sound like I like shove you in a hut. And <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm not allowed to order on Amazon no. <laughs> between the hours of 5 p.m. and 5 a.m. And I'm not allowed to have my own water. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, it's not like that. No, I know. Alina goes to ship now and it says, is Noel there? To yeah. Uh, yeah. The yeah. Yeah. So I sent it to him and I'm like, hey, can you order me this? Order me this color. This is what I want. Mm-hmm. You order it for me. And I'm like, hey, did you order it? And he goes, yeah, I ordered two. And I go, did you get the same exact color? And he goes, yeah. I'm like, you mother, you did the exact thing. So, hence. I wanted to match. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought this was like a. This was a very important thing. that we, I, I needed it. I needed it on mine because he would pick up mine and start drinking it. And then I wouldn't know if I drank my gallon. It's a very simple concept. We just have to have separate water bottles. And they should be separate colors. They shouldn't have been the same color. So now I have a sign that says that you made for me. Thank you. Can and you guys says, tell Alita's like neurotic sometimes? Alita water only. I really do wish there was an apostrophe. I made, I made that for you. So it's Alina's way. water only, but it's just Alina water only. By the way, two things. One, I just... I thought it was like a solidarity thing. We've never matched anything in our entire relationship. We never worn like matching t-shirts, matching anything. And I was like, this could be a journey for us together, a hydro journey for us together. Now I do concede that buying the same color is stupid. I have no problem admitting that, but I thought, eh, whatever, you know, I'm, I could look at mine and be like, yeah, I'm at, you know, 50, 1500 milliliters yeah. or whatever. Like I figured it'd just be a fun little, yeah, she had some of mine. I yeah. might have had some of hers, but Alina was like, no, I need my own. So when I made her label, Alina water only, I purposely left the apostrophe S out because I knew that was going to drive me <laughs> crazy. <laughs> well, you picked and, the wrong time to be cute and sentimental. Yeah, clearly. So that's my discussion. But <laughs> people who drink a gallon a day, like you, a lot you're of bodybuilders a superman, superwoman. You, it's just amazing. But also, you, do you, you never notice when we went to college the all the bodybuilders that would walk around with the gallons of water holding it by their pinky? Were there bodybuilders in college? Yeah, I didn't notice. That's, any. That was like a meme. Who had time to bodybuild in college? Plenty of people. I didn't notice anyone have any muscles in college. The hell. Dude, there used to be this guy in my one of my pre law or law classes. He was like this massive jujitsu guy. He showed up to class one time in his gi. It was the corniest, funniest thing I'd ever seen. A big ass, like a brown Mexican dude, um, head the size of I'm not exaggerating, like a basketball and a half. His head was huge. Guy was white as shit. He's probably walking around like two thirty. Dang, um, I didn't notice anyone like that. I mean, I noticed everyone at school. Everyone was a character to me. I can't even remember one specific face. I remember him, and then in that class, there was this girl. Me. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Because we met in college. Hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. Hilarious. That was was money. Um, Yeah, no, I actually, that was, I've never seen another girl before or after you. Um, uh, Girls aren't real. That's why I'm Sarah. What were you going to say about this girl? No, so she <laughs> she was a classic teacher's pet, but in the elementary sense of it. Mm. It was really bizarre. The whole class was very much like fascinated with her uh, as a person because she would show up 15 minutes early to all the lectures. She was down there in the front row 
with an array of highlighters mm. like doing the cutesy highlighter shit in real time yeah she would shush people yeah in the class she felt like it was her class and so whenever she'd walk in everyone in the lecture would kind of look at each other like oh mm-hmm. teacher's here mm-hmm. like before the actual professor got there mm-hmm. we're like yo don't don't get fucking caught by yeah miss right here Is her name judy i don't remember her name oh, okay. i just remember she wore glasses and she asked way too many questions you like that's what was so bizarre about it is you remember in high school people who would ask questions just to be asking questions just to be visible she was doing that as pretty much a growing adult and Mm -hmm. a lot of us were kind of like dude we're at fucking we're in college now not only that we're at like this piece of shit like commuter school like relax like this isn't harvard yeah you know you don't remember a single face from college? Bull. Mm-mm. I remember some teachers. You, you remember our capstone teacher? I remember teachers. I we shouldn't say teach. Yeah, sorry. We shouldn't say teacher. We say professor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> teacher implies like, I don't know. You can fuck them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> you can fuck professors. You can. You can. You would know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alex. <laughs> well, I hated college. You did. I hated it so much. Yeah, you were pretty in out as well. I was in and out. I wanted nothing to do with it. I remember when I met you, how optimized your schedule was. I thought, damn, <laughs> this girl's smart as shit. She's fucking never here. I got done in exactly four years, which is very rare. It is, especially at You our have school. to do so much overtime. Mm-hmm. I had to take nine credits every summer. Yeah. Everyone else was having a blast, and I was taking nine credits yeah. or whatever yeah i did two years at community college and then two years at northridge yeah so yeah to and get to do sl- that you had to you had to take summer school you couldn't get done otherwise uh no if you did what i did take way too many classes during the semester what more than 19 i think there's a limit um yeah i would be like on the edge right there there's no there's no way I, do, I did I did the max that I could, and I had to take them over the summer to finish in exactly four years. I'm just trying to think. I didn't I didn't do any summer school, but I, I yeah. But you also took six years. <laughs> well, the fucking it was more. It was probably more like you're showing your armpit hair. It's all right. Um, scandalous. Scandalous. No, now I'm trying to think. That's like someone seeing your pubes. No, hold on. Um, that is nothing like somebody seeing your pubes. No, you know what? It took longer than six years. <laughs> I waited so long, my all my credits were almost invalid. I know. I, I remember yeah, it yeah, gave, yeah. gave me great anxiety, and I still have nightmares about missing credits. And Can I think maybe that? that it's almost like all the all the money I had paid to go to school. Because basically, what happened was I dropped out, and I had like this crazy like manic period where I was like staying up till six in the morning every day. I like took on a bunch of debt, bought a bunch of camera gear. I'm like, I'm going to start a production company, and that just definitely didn't happen. And then I mean, it kind of did. I mean, it did, but then. I uh, got a, I, I like taught myself how to write code and then I got a job and then that job, I started doing so well at it that I'm like, oh, I never have to go back to school. But he had literally like it was nine, like three classes. Three left. classes. Nine credits. Yeah. So her and my senior developer was like, dude, go get that fucking degree. And then otherwise, it's point, everything you did was pointless. And then it was actually, it was pretty dope because between you and my engineering team that I worked with, my whole engineering team was like, go finish that degree. My boss would like let me cut out early. Yeah. Well, I told I, I told you exactly what classes to take mm-hmm. that I had taken. Yeah, that like, was I already easy. had the textbooks. Yeah. They were either online classes and I knew like all the tests and stuff would be mm-hmm. online. Yeah. And then, yeah, we just but got through it. Those expire? Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's you, such a scam. You paid money. like it's such a scam. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And then I... uh. For years after that, I would have repeated nightmares that I didn't uh, graduate. Oh, yeah. I have repeated nightmares that my classes didn't count. Yeah, yeah. Like someone was like, ring, ring, hey. (laughs) I graduated so late that when I applied to do a walk, I was so late to apply to that. They were like, you can walk next year. Yeah. So I could have. A whole year later. So I would have. just never walked. I never walked. And then I would have walked something like four or five years after I did the bulk of my degree. Yeah. And then when my, is it a diploma? Yeah. Oh, no, it's a, 
whatever it is. It degree. Came, the, the degree came in the mail. Uh, we look at Alex to yeah, confirm yeah, everything. Yeah, because he just left school. <laughs> no, because he just has a computer. I, I never walked either. I don't I don't know. You didn't walk? No, yeah, it was a COVID. we had COVID. My graduation oh. was like, I was asleep. And my buddy was like, yo, it's on TV. Like, <laughs> get over here. So I walked over and watched my prophet or whatever principal yeah. dean mm. sit yeah. there and like clap like congratulations class like damn that was it that was my mom called and was like you happy I'm like sure yeah I, I mean the ceremony is bogus i i had a uti once at my high school <laughs> <laughs> graduation <laughs> dude you continue to level up every fucking episode you you, you messed that up you gotta you gotta lock in we're last. <laughs> you, you, you have to be so dramatic with the movements. Yeah, just chill, just chill. No, 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 no. Just let it, let it loose. Let the elbow down, loose. Just hand. Okay. Now you're being funny. All right. Just pull up. Hey, you got it. You got a grip. Okay. All right. One. Okay. Now it's a lot. Yeah. It is degree, by the way. It is diploma. degree. <laughs> yeah, diploma, whatever the fuck. I just licked your hand. <laughs> I know. So. You had a UTI. I yeah, had a UTI at my high school graduation. So you were pissing hot. I was pissing blood. Oh. Yeah. It was bad. Ain't that just a period though? <laughs> no. That's what all the girls are gonna say. They're like, Alina, she just not a period. Is that an no. average for a UTI? Do you bleed you yeah, bleed you, when you pee? You bleed when you pee. Ah. Like at the end. Feels like it's good though. What? So just in case anyone <laughs> sorry, doesn't I'm sorry, I'm sorry. we actually have a lot of male listeners. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah you do. Uh, what up, fellas? So, just in case anyone doesn't know what a UTI is, uh, you feel like like it's some sort of like bacterial infection, obviously, mm. and it's in your urethra. It's not in your vag, and it's not in your booty hole. Okay, it's in your urethra. That's where girls pee. They have is three that, holes. Is that the top? Yeah, so it's the, the top. top hole. Yeah. Yeah, that's where you pee. Okay, yeah. and some sort of bacteria or whatever gets in there, so it like. And it like, so it causes it to sting. So what happens is, is you feel all day like you have to pee. Mm. Even if you've had no water, you have this sensation like that, like, you know, right before you're about to piss your pants, that sensation, you have that all day. And then when you actually go down to pee, nothing really comes out, maybe like a tiny little drop of water. Mm. And then if it's a severe case, you have like the smallest little tinge of blood. Mm. And the only way to get rid of it is to drink a ton of water yeah. to like flush it out of your system and like cranberry juice and cranberry pills are supposed to be good. Right. Maybe things have changed. Yep. And, um, I'm just in case, you know, so I had it and I was like, I know I'm going to have this for the next two days or whatever day. I'm going to have it during a six hour high school ceremony because we had so oh, many wow. effing kids at our school. So I tried to drink like maybe two gallons a day before to try to like purge it as quickly as I could. Mm. I was taking cranberry pills, but it just did not work. So you just sat there feeling like you're going to piss your pants. For but then I just, I, it was like an intense pain, but it was like, I had to tell myself like, there's no pee there. There's no pee there. You don't actually have to pee. Wow. It just feels like that. So you should be on survivor. You think? Yeah. If you could get through that. You think? I think you could get through some of those challenges for sure. Thanks. Yeah. Were you, so you produced the the Moment House show <laughs> for TMG, but you produced. Is this Sarah talking because you don't know? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you no, no, you did, but <laughs> I'm just, I was just trying to figure out how to phrase the piece of, <clears throat> the very specific piece of media that we worked on recently. Okay. Basically, there's a there's an aspect to the show where where Elena produced like a, a competition show between Cody and I, and there's a there's a physical challenge in there. Oh yeah. Um. That challenge, you know how long I lasted. Yeah. And you know how long Cody lasted. I feel like you could beat both of us potentially. Wow. Just based on that story. Wow. I think you could. Because I I feel that. As long as I've known you, you've always been very uh, able to do uh, mind over matter. Wow, that's very nice of you. Yeah. Because sometimes I am a bit dramatic and I make up ailments so that you can get me things. Yes, I know that part too. <laughs> but I, that's different. That we know what's going on. We know what's going on when you're doing that shit. You do? Yeah. Make okay. the vacuum. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, we don't have to bring that madness up again. <laughs> okay. Um, no, Alina will be like... In case you guys sit- are wondering, though, I just, I have very particular needs with the vacuum and... Uh, yeah, if you, if you, if this podcast ever opens up a P.O. box, anything vacuum related, you know, <laughs> Alina will be greatly appreciative. <laughs> Sounds so weird. We're just going to leave it at that. Yeah. No, uh, you... Okay, so if we're if we're just hanging, just for everyone listening, yeah, Helena's made up ailments will be you know she's sitting on the couch and she wants to feel as though I care for her. She may you know just sort of like <laughs> I need water, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll laugh and I say you need water. And she's like <laughs> yeah, it's just my my throat, and I go okay, and I'll get her water. Or sometimes. I laugh and I'll say, Alina, you know what you're doing. <laughs> and then she starts laughing and she goes, I know, but I just need to feel like you care right now. Yeah. And I go, well, get like the last water. night. Last night with the smoothie. No, I wasn't doing that. That was crazy. I know. I asked her to make me a smoothie. No, that was crazy. It was late. We had a wild ass day. We both worked a ton. I was barely hanging in there. No. And you were just. You were there. Granted, what you were shopping for was important, but you you were cruising on Aritzia <laughs> and other places, and you just you hit me with the. I need to drink my smoothie. <laughs> and I said, "No way, I no, know. get in there." Well, that that is exactly why I was smack talking you in my sleep. Oh, dude, you guys don't even know. Alina will sleepwalk at times and just. I don't sleepwalk. That implies I'm just like roaming around the house. Well, she sleep talk. I sleep talk. And she, it's more like sleep chat shit. <laughs> depending yeah. on depending on the, the wake up, sometimes, you know, she'll wake up and she, it'll be a compliment. In her sleep, I can look through her eyeballs and I know she's not conscious. And she'll wake up on the couch while we're watching TV and she's like, are you good? You good? Okay, good. I'm happy you're good. She goes back to sleep. Other time, like last night, I, she, she was sleeping on my chest for about an hour. <laughs> okay, we're just watching TV, and I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta adjust. So I go sit up to adjust, and she wakes up. She goes, "Stop fucking moving!" <laughs> and her eyes are closed. <laughs> and I laugh, and I say, "I have to adjust." She's like, "Just stop! <laughs> stop! You're just fidgeting. Just stop fidgeting." And I laugh and I say, I have to fidget. And she goes, just no more. And then I took the blanket and I put it over her <laughs> eyes. And I said, I was like, just go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, we, we got. No, in the, but yeah, I continued. Yeah, we got into the bed and she was still chatting shit. I was barely, barely alive. She was like one eye open looking at me. Oh, okay, so you didn't even cuddle me while we watched TV? <laughs> And I said, dude, you slept on my chest for an hour. She said, no, I didn't. <laughs> and I said, yeah, you did. The, no, but I just kept, I'm like, oh, every two minutes you're just moving. That's all you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Every two minutes you're just like fidgeting. Fidgeting. It's like, I couldn't even sleep because like, it wasn't even a cuddle because like, you just kept moving every two minutes. It's like, it doesn't even count as anything. You're just going to keep moving. It's like, I timed it and you, yeah. I did time it. Literally every two minutes you were like, oh, I know what I was like. I was like, picture a blanket. And someone's holding. Yeah. Oh, this was crazy. Like such a like a nine year old. Like I was like, I, I felt I was just I was just on you, and you're just fidgeting every two minutes. I was just like popping off and on. I couldn't even sleep. Couldn't even get any relaxation, and I just didn't even feel like that much time had passed because every two seconds you were moving. She goes. She goes. Imagine four people holding a corner of a blanket. And mind you, my eyes are closed. Yeah, she said, imagine peop- a, a person holding each corner of a blanket. Now picture. I'm like, no, no, no. There's different people holding each corner. Yeah. And then they, they use it. I picture a cheese it in the middle of that blanket. And then they all just. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm the cheese it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She goes, I'm the cheese it that goes to sleep. And the cheese is just popping up in the air every two seconds in the, in the middle of the blanket. That's me trying to sleep. And I just, I just put Ollie under my arm and I was like, let's, let's, let's go to bed. No. It was too funny. But then I woke up this morning and I said, sorry for all my shit talk yeah. last night. Yeah. Yeah. Elena is the strangest sleeper. Sometimes she'll just wake up and wake me up in the middle of the night and go, what the fuck? And then go back to sleep. <laughs> I actually get just very ruined mad. my sleep. <laughs> I 
actually get really sensitive if you forget to like give me a kiss good night or if the kiss good night isn't solid enough. Yeah. Yeah. Then why are you laughing? It's perfectly reasonable. Okay. It's, I had a few beers before this. I'm just giggly today. Oh. Uh, um and I It's ridiculous. Well, I basically if you don't like if you like are on your phone and like I go to sleep before you I will wake up in the middle of the night and be like, you didn't even kiss me. Yes. Then I'll turn over <laughs> yeah. and keep going to sleep. Yeah. And then the next morning I'll be like, you didn't kiss me goodnight last night. Yeah. And sometimes I do actually. And you just don't remember. Or if it's not like, like to me, I feel like every kiss should be like lust. Yeah. Alina wants movie <laughs> kisses. I want like, like, like you're never you should never kiss me for two seconds like that is pointless like i could be kissing something else for two seconds okay <laughs> yeah you could yeah you could i feel like a kiss between you know lovers <laughs> should be like at least 10 seconds yeah in alina's mind i should just be tilting tilt like Tilting her back and macking her at the fucking front of the line at Paquito Mas. Just fucking. <laughs> no, but if you're going to like. Order number's 46. Kiss me goodnight. It should be like. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, I should just like feel it, you know? That's not realistic. Some okay, nights. Well, I would like to get horned up after every kiss, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Alina will want me to, you know, sometimes... I don't want, I don't want pecorinos. <laughs> sometimes I'll, I'll get, I'll be high or some shit and I'll just zombie to the bed and I'll be on 3% battery mentally. And she'll shake me and she'll say, give me a kiss goodnight and make it good. <laughs> and I'll try. I'll use my brain. I'll just kind of fall onto her face a little bit. I'll just... And then I'll... I'll rate them afterwards. Yeah, I'll pull back and she'll go, again, that was whack. She's like, that that one's okay. That was passable. And then I'll just roll over and die. And uh, yeah. I also do think it's fun to kiss with your eyes open. Yeah, that shit is creep, man. I think it's fun. Yeah, Alina, I'll have to tell her, close your damn eyes. Well, sometimes I like, I need to see because like maybe the kiss... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the kiss isn't isn't like up to my standards. Like, I don't know, you know, who did this to you, you know? in your childhood. No, but I need to have a conversation with them. Like, I I need to talk <laughs> further with your parents, and then just do more digging, and then go. I'll find it. I'll find the thing, and then I can tell them. You realize your daughter kisses with her eyes open because you did this. I don't shit. do that all the time. But no, you sometimes don't. if I really want to feel like the lust and the romance i'll like open my eyes to be like yeah he yeah. does love me right yeah i feel like opening your eyes would kill the lust and the romance because you're not like in the moment feeling it you're staring at him like, try two, kissing two her and then opening your eyes i don't think i'll be kissing her yeah 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 no. Yeah. but imagine the imagine kissing your significant other i don't have one of those either playfully opening your eyes and then she's there <laughs> <laughs> making sure if it's if I've ever done it, it's partly to like add to the kissing vibe, you know, like let's make it real good, or it's because I like I'm paranoid that some someone is accidentally kissing me. Yeah, that is actually very what? much, <laughs> dude. Alina does not trust reality. Yeah. What do you mean? Who's who? Where? In what instance? I just need to make sure that she's gonna open her eyes and it's gonna be another person in the in the bed with you or like where? Where? Anything? Anywhere? Kissing? Yeah. Well, I just feel like I feel like when you close your eyes, anything can happen. Okay. Alina <laughs> thinks she'll start kissing me and then open her eyes. Yeah, just reveal. No, just reveal a strange. I just person. need to be grounded in reality at all times. Yeah, Alina so, does not trust reality. I don't even like what, and I also am startled easily. So I need to know <laughs> what's happening at all times, so I'm grounded in reality, and also so I am prepared for anything that may happen. Yeah. It's the same way, like you go in the shower and you wash you wash your face. You want to make sure that. There's no serial killers dude, in the bathroom. Dude. Okay. The way. So Alina, I want to make sure when I'm kissing you that it's really you and that there isn't a mysterious ghost that's replacing you. I know everyone's you. listening to this right now just in I in know awe. there's people out there that get paranoid that they're kissing someone else. 
<laughs> I was going to agree with the shower thing and not the kissing someone else thing. But it's the same logic. It's definitely not. It's the same logic. Close your eyes for a second and you could get killed. Close your eyes for a second and you could have your kiss replaced. No, no. <laughs> no it's like close your eyes in the shower. Somebody could break in without you knowing. When you lean in for a kiss on somebody, <laughs> their head isn't going to be replaced by somebody else's head. I just need to be grounded in reality. That's all. So then how, how and do you I last to these long-term kisses? I feel like a peck would allow you to maintain the reality yeah alina sometimes what do you mean how do i last i open my eyes the whole for the long for the long time kisses i found out i look down a little bit see oh it's still his nose yeah yeah (laughs) alina straight up alina just straight up does not trust reality yeah yeah we um it's okay you know i got a better help code we're gonna figure this out (laughs) we're gonna figure this out you want to talk about being startled yeah, I was about to say, in terms of trusting reality, Alina Are you is... you hot? Um, kind of hot. Thanks. You're super hot. Thanks. I've... Uh, <clears throat> recently, Alina's become so... Um, like, I don't even know how you would describe it. She almost thinks she lives in like a haunted house or something. Like, I... <laughs> she gets so startled... And I don't ever do anything. I just... This is the best example, okay? One morning, I'm in bed. Noel's like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I say, I'm going to go. Yeah, I can see him go into the bathroom, okay? He goes into the bathroom and the toilet is like right near the door. So like when you open it, you see the person. And I knew he was in there. Dude. I saw him go in there. I was sitting right outside in the bed. Dude. I open it and he's sitting on the toilet. Looking at TikTok. Yeah. You know, peeing. He's not taking a poo. We don't walk in on each other's And yes, I sit down to pee because I like to be comfortable when I pee. Yeah, that's fine. And um, what did I do? Alina opens the door. It's not even like, it's it's like two inches. And I just kind of like look up from my phone as I'm pissing. She goes, ah! And I, and I just... You I, just went... I just, yeah, threw my hand up like, what? <laughs> you knew I was in here. You had all the information. And and sometimes... What, and I, I go, I know, I just did, I didn't think you'd be right there. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, other times I... Now what I started doing is if, if she's in the bathroom or something alone, I very much, I'm like, yo, I'm coming in right now. Yeah. Okay? And she goes, okay, all right. Because when other times where she's doing her makeup, and this this one is this one's fine, this one yeah, makes sense. He, she's doing her he's makeup. He's got to announce himself when he walks in the room. She's doing her makeup, and she's just kind of you know got her eyes closed and whatever, and she may open to grab some other product, and I'll be in there. And then I will scream. Yeah, she goes, "Oh fuck!" Even though I know he's home and he's around, yeah. but if I don't expect it, one time I was in the shower, and you walked in, and I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah. "You have to tell me if you're gonna be." coming in here you have to announce yourself i'm just so glad you don't have any kind of like bb gun or anything no. i'd have been <laughs> shot the fuck up several times i got scared of the reflection of a light the other night dude dude <laughs> dude, dude, <laughs> dude she got scared of her shadow the other day. <laughs> like her actual shadow but i literally jumped up i jumped and yeah. i was like <gasps> <laughs> and then i had to look at noel and go it's just the light in the shadow. No, she, yeah, she goes, I, I just got scared of my shadow and I started dying laughing. I, <laughs> I, I was like, I can't believe this day has come. I know. But you know what's so funny? Mm. Me and Ollie are exactly the same because the other you guys night, are, yeah. I was walking out of our bedroom and Ollie was walking out of his bedroom <laughs> and we coincided and I at the same time slipped on the rug. And then Ollie heard me slip, so he slipped on himself. And his little paws were going everywhere. And then my feet were slipping. And we both exit the hallway. And Noel just looks up and he's like shaking his head because we're both just like I know. frantic. Th- yeah, they're both afraid of each other, being afraid of each other. Yeah. I just, I looked up and I heard like, boom, boom. Yeah. And then Ollie comes walking out the hallway, like looking back at Alina. And Alina's like, I'm sorry, I scared you. Yeah. But you scared me. Bro, we um last night I found out you never seen Legends of the Hidden Temple. I do not want to talk about that. Okay, I was not that amused by the show. 
But and no, 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 no. Watch no. the whole episode. It's twenty minutes. <laughs> it's like a YouTube video, and when I fast forward through it, I watched one more, but I didn't even watch the full one. I just fast forwarded to see how much the production changed. So okay, well, I think there's other shows that I would like to watch. Yeah, but you were at that sleepy point. You know, you know, you know that point when you're at the never yeah. coming back. Um. But no, I want. We're not even gonna talk about the show. I was more surprised that you had never seen the show, because I feel like that was pretty big for people our age. So I was just, I was surprised that. Yeah, I never. Yeah, even I caught that. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, yeah. I never even heard of it. You guys oh, like, really? You guys are like decades before me, so. Uh, I'm not. I'm 16. I don't know what the I hell you like talking that about. That was really unnecessary. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But no, I've seen that. Yeah, it's the it's the game show, the Nickelodeon game show, right? Yeah, the, where the kids like. It's like. Yeah. They have to go through Obstacle little course and stuff. Yeah. yeah. You never watched that? Never even seen it. Really? That was like super popular, I feel. Yeah. yeah. That was like one of their biggest shows. Yeah. I was watching different things at that time. Well, well, that's what I wanted to ask. What were you watching as a child? Well, I did watch Blue's Clues way past the age that I should have. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. You said you didn't watch SpongeBob either, right? No. That was, that was totally like your guys' time also. I was watching Blue's Clues in high school. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh I just thought it was an amazing format. An amazing format. <laughs> I just thought it was so good. Talking directly like to camera. <laughs> salt and pepper and like, just like, like the set. Like, I just like, everything was so good about I, that no, show. To, to be fair, that show, like in terms of uh, like what it was, definitely. I mean, it clearly made a lot of people feel good. Yeah. I'm sure there are plenty of people that watch that shit way beyond. Yeah. So I watched that. Um, I watched, but here's my, here's my issue. Were you like a, like a 16 year old, like going along with the story or was it just sort of a comfort <laughs> thing? Like, ah, like, like the sounds and the art. I wasn't 16. I like graduated high school when I was 16. So, okay. So you were like 13. I was like, yeah, I was 13. Uh, I was young in high school. I was like a year younger. Oh, okay. Cause I'm so smart. Yeah. No, I just was born in November. So, um, that kind of makes sense then. <laughs> not really Doesn't really but i was like this is like very adult like i feel like it makes me feel good oh yeah the part where paprika would um oh that's the baby huh yeah the, the part where epstein would fly in and he'd touch paprika and like pour her I'll out ruin this food. for me okay <laughs> <laughs> i had i still have the just got a letter song and like it was just so fun. The part where Blue would come in and take a shit on the <laughs> rug and Steve would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I told you. So I would watch that. Um, I also liked Rugrats and Hey Arnold. Those are classics though. Yeah, but that's You could watch those watching. now. Yeah, but I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't do that. Um, Who did you identify with on Hey Arnold? I didn't pick one. I didn't. I didn't. I mean, he had a football shaped head. I couldn't even identify. <laughs> I thought Arnold's room was so fucking cool. Oh. Yeah, I I didn't identify with Arnold, but I was called Arnold for his football shaped head quite Cause often. You had because you got a football shaped head, you got a large head. Yeah, oh, uh, okay. kids but, are mean. But the his room is iconic. Yeah, I don't even remember it. The he big had his glass. couch that could pop out from the wall. He oh, I a, watched Cat Dog. Cat Dog was a weird one. That was a strange one. Yeah, it, the fact that you like that says like that's everyone knows not how she's a cat dog person oh really that's kind of a weird ass show to like <laughs> mm. well i did masturbate to schindler's list we might start to cut some things out. if no. i left that i mean that would be appropriate no no it would. it would i mean that wouldn't be appropriate unless there was a sex scene in cat dog it would be appropriate for this show It'd be on brand yeah yeah but it would not be appropriate to masturbate to a cat dog. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It depends. 4chan users might agree. I would like to move on to other shows I watched. Uh, can you name some? <laughs> okay. <laughs> can I name some of the shows that you would watch? Insane. I can't remember. Um, I'm trying to think of that age. I mean. Courage the Cowardly Dog? Was no. That? No. Oh, yeah. I tried to get her, make her watch Courage. Um, you didn't watch like Dragon Ball Z. You probably didn't watch Mm-mm. any of the Toonami stuff. No, I pretty much just watch Blue's Clues. Is that because you weren't like allowed to watch things? Um, because I feel your household was pretty strict. You had to be either cleaning or doing something. Yeah, I was cleaning a lot, and then I couldn't watch a lot of things 
Uh, I watch a lot of Disney. A lot uh, of Disney. Okay. Uh, but yeah. you're not a, that, that's interesting because you're not like a Disney person. No, I don't identify with any of the Disney stuff. You watch Smart, uh, Smart Guy? I did. And uh, yeah. Susie Q. Never watched Susie Q. I didn't give a damn about Susie, Susie Q. Q. Well, she, there was like a Susie Q movie and like mm-hmm. she like died or something at like 16 and then came back in another time period or the something. Movie, yeah. I'm trying to remember the name of that movie. Complex ass um, idea for a kid. Did, you, you didn't watch Brink, did you? I loved Brink. Yeah, Brink. That's um, Clean House, Smart House, Smart House, Clean House. No, that was what you were living in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Clean House. That's the show that was you were living in. Yeah, <laughs> that was your mom's favorite game. Yeah, Clean House. Make sure. Yeah. It when, is when, right. When me and my sister would hear the garage open, like we'd be sitting relaxing, like I'd probably was listening to Ricky Martin, and then the garage would. Open. <laughs> just, just what? Hilarious. Oh, I also like my music soundtrack was like, like my music taste was like so off because like my mom loved the Carpenters and ABBA and so yeah. and like Phil Collins and UB40. So like that's all she would play. Mm-hmm. And then I was given, I loved the Jungle Book when I was like five. Yeah. So I bought like a Jungle Book CD and it had like the Jungle Book soundtrack, but it was like a techno version and then like a house <laughs> version. And it was the same song, but it was four different ways the bear and i was like i had no music necessities so i would put that thing in my little cd player and i would listen to that like was it telling you to turn the page too (laughs) and you're fucking 15 like i was old i was old as fuck listening to jungle book because i thought the techno versions were cool it's so (laughs) fucked up how uh people who grew up in the housing crisis how their parents (laughs) <laughs> we're just so focused on work that they just let their kids like either age too little or too much. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'd be on rotten.com and yeah, and I was listening to jungle. Book. Yeah. Just, we were on song. opposite ends of the spectrum. Your parents were doing no work to age you up yeah. to help you gain, you know? Yeah. But then eventually my most adult CDs were uh, spice girls and then Ricky Martin loved Ricky Martin. I think that's all right. I think a lot of people like Ricky Martin. Yo, we went to high school with uh, William Hung. Yeah. Went to high school, college. We see that dude around. We did. So I was listening to Ricky Martin and then my mom would come home and we would we would be relaxing because we had nothing to do because the house was already clean. Yeah. But my mom, when I tell my mom this, she doesn't even remember that this happened. But, but she laughs her ass <laughs> off. The garage would open and me and my sister would dart up and like pick up a broom and start like sweeping and picking something else up like pretending we were cleaning so that we looked because my mom did not like you sitting and like relaxing and watching tv like that yeah. that was like lazy yeah. so like that definitely plays into my inability to relax today <laughs> because sitting down to like watch any tv is like lazy yeah alina cannot it's so funny when we go on vacation <laughs> she vacations in the most neurotic way possible yeah she'll say okay we need to we need to do this we can do this so then we can go to the beach and then we can relax and then we get on the beach to relax <laughs> and i just i just count the minutes we just lay down and i go okay in three minutes this girl's gonna start freaking the fuck out that we're not doing anything you know we'll be sitting on a beach we will have invested the time and the money to just be able to do nothing and she's sitting there going okay do we do should we like get something to eat fuck I'm like, no, no, just, just till I was like, okay, 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 okay. We, we, we can eat in like 30 minutes, right? I'm like, yeah, we can just, you can eat whenever. Just making sure you're good. I'm just, it's for you. <laughs> we should be drinking, right? We should drink. Yeah, we can drink. I mean, you can drink. I mean, we, we should both drink, right? Because that's, the, she, she's <laughs> cosplaying as someone who's relaxing. Yeah, I'm trying to relax. <laughs> she's never actually relaxing. Yeah. It's so funny in Mexico. Uh, you I'm were, just loving all the hair all over your face I because know. I can tell it's bothering you. Like That's you keep fine. like moving the pieces. That's fine. Uh, That's not normally how. You're used to me yeah. talking to you. Or no, how girls, you know, yeah. we, we brush our hair. Yeah, you're just used to it. <laughs> no, this is how girls are, right? They just yeah. let it go all over yeah, their face. Yeah, because the wig and it's yeah. half under and half over. Nah, but you tried reading a book and I was I was so proud of you. Yeah. Because I mean, she's actually trying to just not do mm-hmm. much of anything. Mm-hmm. But it was hilarious watching you try to read a book because I could tell you would, I'd hear the page flip. I could just feel that you were internally thinking, 
when is this book done? No, this is too long of yeah, doing yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I need to do more. <laughs> I haven't thought of anything in the last <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> What's the most ridiculous uh, thing that you pretended to clean, you think? Oh. Like, would you ever dial it up? Would you ever, you know, just go in there and pretend to scrub a toilet? No, no, no. It was like usually just like sweeping, vacuuming because I love that. Mm. Um, and like dusting. Dude, you have... Windex. You Windex. have like some... I don't know what the clinical term would be for it, but the but, fact that you've convinced yourself that you love vacuuming, that to me feels PTSD-ish. You think? You, you, you found... It, it, it's Stockholm <laughs> Syndrome. You found joy in in something that you had to find. Actually, joy you're in. right because uh, we would have we would have like rotational cleaning responsibilities. Yeah. So whenever it was my weekend to dust, I hated it because it involved you picking up every little fucking antique that your parent had in their house and picking yeah. it up and cleaning all all the surfaces because you can't do a sloppy job. You know, yeah. you can't clean around it. And so I hated dusting because I felt like it was a scam. It it took like three times the amount of of time that everyone else's chores did. Mm. So I felt like you should have like three weeks off after doing that. <laughs> but vacuuming was also one of them. And then mopping was another one. Yeah. And I loved vacuuming because it was like the quickest. Yeah. So I think that's what plays into like telling myself that vacuuming was my favorite one is why I love vacuuming to this day. I mean, it's okay. You know, I think recently you've definitely learned how to relax and enjoy life more. Yeah. But it's it's been, it's been, it's been it, tough. It's been a journey yeah. to get you to like relax. Yeah. Except we're planning a wedding. <laughs> yeah. But no, you're, you're doing a great job with that. You're not letting it affect you how other things have affected you in the past. Yeah. You know, normally, I think you'd be super wound up. My, you, just, you just have moments where <laughs> I could see the steam coming out of your ears. <laughs> and I'm just like, hey, man, it's okay. Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. My advice to anyone planning a wedding or thinking about it is... Uh, Don't do it. <laughs> no, because <I'm like, laughs> no, we could have gone that route and we nah, decided nah. not to. Nah, do it. Um, well, it hasn't happened yet, so I can't tell you if you should or shouldn't do it. But don't feel obligated to do all of the traditional yeah. list of things that everyone does yeah. like just do whatever you want you know if you want to walk down the aisle to songs about sex okay, you this should is hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious you should this is hilarious i don't think that you should need to follow any rules you should do what makes you happy alina wants to walk down the aisle to walk down the aisle to the weekend but it's a violin cover and i'm fine with it but i'm also or thinking like, is that going to be or like joji glimpse of us See, I would cry instantly. Yeah. But the meaning behind that it song. It doesn't matter it's if so it's a violin. Dark. There's no, there's no vo voices, songs, lyrics. There's no lyrics. So it's just the melody. That's fair. And it's That's just fair. how the melody makes you feel. That's totally fair. It's but kind of a meme to just walk down to it. <laughs> That's crazy though. Walking down the aisle to a song about feeling dead inside with someone. Yeah, I think that's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Wishing the partner was the other person. There's romance in that too. Yeah, so. Like a heartbroken romance. Yeah. Or that, you know. How does that relate to us though? Uh, I'm the other woman. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. You could spin anything any way you want. You could, yeah. And <laughs> it could be romantic. <laughs> Noel doesn't think that we should do that. So we're, you know, we are looking. We're yeah, looking. We're, I don't we're like any of the traditional songs. No, nah, that's fine. I with don't. Me. I, 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 Why don't we just do Turn Down for What? <laughs> <laughs> What's the weekend song, Can't Feel My Face? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Which one was it? If you um, okay uh, oh, you know, we're looking at a bunch. Yeah, there was a there was a ton. Blinding lights. Uh, Dude, nah. She goes. What about crew love? That was a joke. Was a joke. <laughs> oh, were you joking? I, yeah, I, thought, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> given the songs prior, I said crew love. We can. I mean, crew what love. What I would like is <laughs> insane. I can feel it coming. Oh yeah, do that one. You know, but that apparently is about coming. So, um, it's like, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, we can do that. That's better than like the husband being thinking about his former lover. Yeah. Yeah. I just like, why do we have to follow rules? You know, 
Like this is coming from the person who said. I live by rules. I know. It's okay. coming from the person who said there should be a sign that says "Don't look into the sun." <laughs> I know. Okay, there should be signs. There should be rules. I'm contradicting myself here, but I feel like you should live by your own rules. Is my my thing? <laughs> yeah. Okay, if so you I have my kill rule. Fifty people with a Volkswagen Beetle. No, no, no. We, while traveling in a Volkswagen. There are some Beetle, things that are obvious. You know, like you don't need a sign that says "No soliciting, no murder." You know, like yeah, yeah you should know. Don't look into the know. sun. <laughs> No, that's that's something that I think should be told. What was the what was the reaction to when you told that? What? On the podcast. The sun or yeah, the, the sun soliciting? Day. Um like a hundred percent in disagreement. I think people just thought it was funny, but I don't think that I had really anyone on my side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I do think it's strange, you know, there's this, this thing that you just like is deadly. But no one, like, be a sign. If you're going like, to hurt yourself, like, what if your kid goes outside and they haven't, <laughs> they are unsupervised and they decide to stare at the sun for five minutes that's, and they come back in and they can't see. That's fair. I mean. No one told them? That is, I mean. There wasn't a sign? I mean, I remember kids in this stupid kid in elementary school would brag about being able to look into the sun for a long time and it would was freak it us the fuck out. No, it wasn't <laughs> you. It would freak all the kids out. I'm pretty sure he was fucking with us, but people would tell on him because it was so, it'd make people cringe. Mm -hmm. Like he'd look up and I, he was clearly fucking with us. He's like, I'm gonna look at the sun for a minute and everyone would be like, yo, get the fucking teacher. Get the teacher. This kid is fucking weird. Yeah. Well, so... I live by a lot of rules. I'm aware that they're obscure. But my whole thing is is they should be your rules. They should be your curated rules that you decide work for you. Yeah. And one of those is why should I have to listen? Why should I have to walk down the aisle to John Legend all of me? Yeah. I don't want to. That's fair. Okay? No, that's fair. I'm I'm with I'm with you on you Why know. can't you pick songs that mean something to you that make you feel good that instantly make you cry cuz that's what I want. I want everyone to be crying. Yeah. Okay. I think everyone will be crying laughing. No, oh, I, don't I, th want that. I think I think I think people will cry, and I think it will actually be hilariously endearing to people because the wedding is small, and I think everyone will laugh and go, "Fucking Alina would pick this damn song." Yeah. And then I think it'll be it'll be funny. That it'll way. be beautiful. And then all the, and that what what will be even more hilarious is all the parents just smiling and nodding their heads, saying, "That song, it's got a." It's got a good vibe. Yeah. Who is this? Yeah. And they go listen to the original and they think, oh, damn. Yeah. This is about a wet pussy. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of wet pussy, my shit is dry. Um, I got to go freshen up. That's one way to exit. <laughs> <laughs> How do you want to end it? How do you want to end the episode? Should we kiss? Should we mac? Again. <laughs> <laughs> you want to mac behind the water tank? I don't know. Because this shit takes up the entire frame. Oh, let's see if it works. Yeah, we can definitely mac behind this. You want to mac behind the water jugs? Okay. Meet, people, meet, be, meet me behind the jugs. Okay. Give me a really long kiss. Like, everyone's going to know if it's not 10 seconds. Okay. okay? Ready? Everyone, okay. You got to. I need it to feel like lust, okay? Lust? Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. This is going to be a lot of equipment to get behind. Guys, I'm feeling really uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. That was hilarious. I slipped tongue. No, no. No, no, no. She didn't slip tongue. She, she did spiteful tongue. She rammed it in there. <laughs>